Google Analytics 4 can automatically track where your website visitors are coming from. However, there are cases where it just cannot do that. For example, email marketing campaigns, social media campaigns, and so on. That's where UTM parameters become very useful because they bring back some transparency to your marketing. In this video, I will explain what UTM parameters are and how to see their data in Google Analytics 4. Let me illustrate the benefit of UTM parameters in Google Analytics. First, I will go to Reports, then I will click Acquisition and Traffic Acquisition. Here I see the channel groupings of the biggest traffic sources that drive traffic to my website, and I can see how many sessions did I get, what is the engagement rate, and a bunch of other metrics, including the total revenue. Now I'll switch to the session source medium, and I can see the data at a more granular level. I see that there's a lot of traffic coming from Google search and from other websites. But what if this business is also running email marketing campaigns, for example? If nothing additional is done, usually email traffic is attributed to the direct none because it's very difficult to get accurate traffic data coming from email inboxes. And that's where ETM parameters can be very useful because you can add them to links in your emails and if visitors land on your website from your email marketing campaigns, then you will be able to know which campaigns perform better. In fact, I know that the business of this property is running some email marketing campaigns. So I will enter in the search field email and we see that they're sending some newsletters to their subscribers. And if I move to the right, I will see which campaigns generated more revenue. In fact, I can even add a secondary dimension by clicking this plus icon and then selecting traffic source and entering campaign here. And then I select session campaign. And now I can see which particular campaigns performed better and which ones generated the most revenue. For example, here I see that most of the revenue from email marketing campaigns come from campaigns that are related to Pride. So this kind of session source and this kind of session campaign is possible because this particular company is using UTM parameters. UTMs are custom parameters that can be added to the URL. And then if a visitor lands on your website and those parameters are in the URL, then Google Analytics will know that the visitor came from that particular campaign and things like revenue will be attributed to those campaigns. In this example, we have three UTM parameters, UTM underscore medium, UTM source, and UTM campaign. And if the visitor lands on a website by clicking this particular link, then we will know that the visitor came from the email campaign which was an email newsletter, and the campaign was related to Black Friday, Cyber Monday. UTM parameters are useful not only in email marketing. It can also apply to social media posts. If, for example, you're running some campaigns, you could have UTM medium social, UTM source could be Facebook, and UTM could be that very same Black Friday, Cyber Monday. And when you later look at that data in Google Analytics, you will know whether email marketing or social media was working better for the Black Friday campaign. Medium source and campaign are not the only ETM parameters that are supported by Google Analytics 4. Let's take a look at some examples. First of all, we will start with those three classic parameters, but then we will take a look at some others as well. So UTM medium is the most generic top level UTM parameter that does not have a lot of unique values, but basically these are just large buckets of your traffic types. For example, organic means some search engines, then it might be social video, email marketing, then affiliate, it might be paid advertising, which is known as CPC and so on. Then UTM source is a bit more specific name for the traffic source. For example, it might be Google, Bing, might be the URL of the website, might be, for example, just the word newsletter. So for example, here, if we combine medium and source, you will be able to see that people are coming from Google organic search, but they also might be coming from Google paid advertising, which is Google CPC. Then you might also want to send the name of the campaign. So it might be something like Black Friday 2022 or just the name Christmas sale or maybe something else. So the more UTM parameters you add to your links, the more granular your analysis might be. Another supported UTM parameter is UTM term. And here you can enter, for example, the keyword that you're targeting. For example, it might be women clothing. 
Then if you're testing different text for your ads, then UTM content might also be useful. For example, one ad might say that you're offering a 20% discount of all products on a website. And the other one might be something like get free shipping. And then you can see which ads perform better in your marketing. So these five UTM parameters are the classic ones, but there are actually even more that Google Analytics 4 supports. And you can find them in the official documentation. I will post a link to it below the video. Here you will find not only UTM source or medium, but you will also find things like UTM source platform, UTM creative format, and so on. So feel free to take a look at this documentation to learn more. If you're wondering how to add UTM parameters to your marketing, it's fairly easy. Basically, you can just take the URL of the page where you want your visitors to land, and then you can add those parameters. First, you start with the question mark, and then you enter the actual parameters and their values, such as UTM medium, which might be something like email if you're working with the email marketing campaign, and then UTM source might be a more descriptive name. What kind of email is it? It might be newsletter. It might be the name of your email marketing platform. It might be the name of another email. For example, it might be something like welcome email or something else. In this case, I will stick with the newsletter, then UTM campaign. And here you can enter the name of your campaign. For example, if you're working with the Christmas sale, then it might be something like Christmas 2022 or something like that. You don't have to include all the UTM parameters, but just make sure that you have UTM medium and UTM source. And once you have prepared the link, you should copy the entire link and then include it in your email marketing campaign. So when the visitor clicks the link, that visitor then is redirected to your site and those parameters should be visible in the URL when the visitor actually lands on the website. Then Google Analytics will load it will check the URL and will automatically store that data in your Google Analytics 4 property. To make things a bit easier, you can use Google's campaign URL builder where you have to enter the URL and UTM parameters and then it will generate the actual URL. This builder also requires the UTM campaign, but based on what I've seen, it looks like it's enough to have at least source and medium, but it will not hurt you if you also include the campaign name. So let's try that. I will copy the URL where I want my visitors to land and then I can enter campaign source, for example, newsletter, campaign medium is email and campaign name is Christmas 2022. You can also enter other parameters if you want and then this is the generated URL that you can copy and then include it in your, for example, email marketing campaign. Most email marketing platforms actually add UTM parameters manually, but if you're working with the one that does not do that, then you might use this builder and get the URLs and use them in your email marketing campaigns. But as I have said, you don't have to limit yourself just to email marketing. This also applies to other situations such as affiliate marketing, social media, and so on. Also, if you plan to work a lot with UTM parameters, it might make sense for you to use some tools that help you easier manage UTM parameters and even remember the previous URLs you have generated. That way you will make sure that you're following consistent naming convention. So that was an explanation of what UTM parameters are. And now let's take a look where can you find that data in Google Analytics 4. Because let's say that we have already generated the links and the visitors have landed on our website with those parameters in the URL. Now we want to see those sources, mediums, campaigns, and so on. So you can do that by going to Google Analytics, Reports, then Acquisition, Traffic Acquisition, and then in the primary dimension column, switch to things such as session source, session medium, session campaign, and so on. So all of these are related to UTM parameters. Well, not necessarily to only UTM parameters because if the visitor lands from the Google search, that traffic will still be included in Google organic session source medium. But this report will also include the data of your UTM parameters. So here I could click on session source medium. And then in this list among various traffic sources, I would also be able to see my own campaigns. This is a test demo property. So I don't think that I have any actual campaign data. I mean like you no know, UTM campaign, but if you want to see that in your property, 
and if you have been already sending that data for a while, then you can switch to session campaign here. Or if you want to keep session source medium, but you also want to see the campaign, then you should click plus, then traffic source, and then keep looking for campaign, and then select session campaign. And the same would apply to dimensions such as session manual terms, session manual add content, session source platform, and so on. Here's a quick cheat sheet on what are the exact dimension names of UTM parameters in Google Analytics 4. So UTM medium will be available as session medium or first user medium. If you want to know the difference between session dimensions and first user dimensions, then take a look at my another tutorial about acquisition reports, and I will post a link to it below the video. UTM source will be available as session source or first user source, UTM campaign, well, obviously you guessed it, it will be session campaign or first user campaign, then UTM term will be available as session manual term or first user manual term, and UTM content will be available as session manual ad content and first user manual ad content. There's also a dimension called UTM ID, so it will be available as session campaign ID and first user campaign ID. And as I've said, there are several other supported UTM parameters, and you will easily be able to find their dimension names in Google Analytics 4. Because for example, UTM source platform will be available as session source platform or first user source platform. You can also use those dimensions in custom reports and those are available in explorations. So click explore, then select blank. And then you can include dimensions such as session source medium and session campaign, click import. And then in metrics, you can use something like sessions, then conversion rate also might be useful, which is session conversion rate, and then click import, then drag those two dimensions to the rows and drag metrics to values section. And again, since this is a demo property, I don't have much data, but let's select maybe a longer time period such as quarter to date, for example, apply, and we have slightly larger numbers, but still not enough. So I will expand the time frame even more. Maybe that will show us some data. And yeah, we have some data here. But since I haven't sent any UTM campaign or any other UTM parameters, I don't have real live data to show you, but you will be able to see your UTM source or UTM medium or UTM campaign and other parameters in this kind of report. Now you know what UTM parameters are and how to see them in Google Analytics 4 reports. If you want to learn more about them, including the best naming convention, then take a look at my Google Analytics 4 course. I will post a link to it below the video. If you found this video useful, hit the thumbs up button below the video. That will help me understand better what videos do you like and what should I create in the future. Also, if you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager or Google Analytics 4, then consider subscribing to this channel. My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania, and I'll see you in the next video.